Hello, hello, hello. Come on in, come on in, come on in. So, yes, I'm about to cook, 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 cook. I got some turkey wings, a little teeny pasta, and some corn. And I'm gonna make a soup, I guess. Something I throw together, I create it. But yeah, come on in and watch me do what I do. Cooking dinner. Well, yeah, I am cooking dinner. It's early, but I am cooking dinner. Yeah, thank you for your time, and thank you for every moment you spend with Myra. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. The soup with turkey wings, rotini pasta, and corn. Can y'all see that crushed pepper peeping out? The crushed pepper and the parsley. Yeah, color, color, color. So I got about four turkey wings in this package. I'm gonna get it open and get it cleaned and into a pot of water, clean water. I'm starting with water. And then um, once I rinse it again, I'm gonna use chicken stock. And I'm going to rinse mine because this is the way that I was taught. Any meat that you boil, rinse and pour off, pour off that first water. So that's what I'm going to do. So I got the turkey wings. You see, I slid them down the middle. So all that stuff will come on out. All that nasty stuff. That's why I boil it. So I'm going to let them boil for about five or six minutes. You see what I'm talking about? This is the stuff that's uh this is why i rinse mine i slid it you can see all that stuff in there i'm i'm rinsing this i'm gonna rinse this because this is what i do you know you do you but i don't want that on my meat mm -mm, not me so that's what i did i pulled all that off yep 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 that's what i did because that same ring and that stuff that's floating around in that pot that made a circle or ring around that pot. So it's still, you know, it's still on your meat. So I'm trying to um, take my fork through and clean it a little more down the middle, the center, and on the ends. Because that's why I've seen all that film coming from or whatever you want to call it. But I know I don't want it on my meat. If I can get it off, I'm going to get it off. So now, I'm going to add in the chicken stock. And I'm going to put the turkey wings into the chicken stock and let it cook. And I got a pot over there boiling for my pasta. Because I'm going to boil that separately. I'm going to let that boil for about 10 minutes once I put it in. So it'll be done when I put everything together. It won't take long. All I got to do is just soak up some flavor as it sit. Got the turkey wings in. Y'all, I thought I seen some floating in there. And I was trying to get it. <laughs> I'm paranoid. I don't, I, it is what it is. Again, I don't want that stuff on my food. So I got my rotini pasta ready. I salted the water. It's boiling. And I'm going to use maybe um probably a third of this box. I end up cooking too much. I didn't need all that. I pulled some in and it was looking like that's not going to be enough. And I added some more. Yeah, I didn't need it. So I'm going to have some left over that I may make a salad with, I don't know. So, after 10 minutes of boiling, I count from the time it start to boil again. Because when you put the pasta in, you know, it's not boiling no more. And once it come up to a boil, I, that's when I start counting pretty much. So, that's 10 minutes. Take it out and giving it a good rinse. Oh, let's starch. Now I want y'all to look at this broth. Y'all 
spicy and it's still flavor in that turkey. Because I rinsed it like maybe five, six minutes, you know. So I'm going to add in my seasons now. Two teaspoons of this chicken flavor bouillon. And then two, two teaspoons of garlic and herb seasoning. One teaspoon of thyme. And I'm going to sprinkle some black pepper. It may be a little over a teaspoon because I, I want it hot. I like not hot, hot, but, you know, the heat. I like the heat. So I normally add more black pepper to my food. Quick stir, quick stir, quick stir. Last black pepper. Y'all will see me sprinkle this on. So, again, this this just what I do. You don't have to add this much. You don't have to add nothing. This is what I do. I'm just showing how I cook my food. So I don't want nobody saying, oh, she said you got to do. No, 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 no. Never said that, never said that, never said that. So I let my turkey cook for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And I took it out. And I'm trying to pull the meat off the bones. I don't want the skin. So I'm pulling the skin off too. Again, I just want the meat. I got four turkey wings. And I'm just, again, trying to get the meat off. Separate it. Yeah, I had to use my fingers because the fork wasn't getting it. It was leaving meat on the bone. Four, four, four. Now it's time for that knife action. Just a rough chop. You know, bite sizes. Helping it cook faster. Evenly. And tender, tender, tender. I like my meat uh, incorporated with the pasta so when you pick up your pasta, you picking up some meat. That's how I like to eat it. Everything on each spoonful with the corn too. Because I'm going to add in corn. It's a soup. So get that rinsed. Now I'm going to add this turkey back into that chicken stock. Slowly, slowly trying. I don't want to waste. I already waste some. I don't want to waste no more. I need all my meat. All of it. Because there was four turkey wings. Uh, the flat. And it ended up. It wasn't a lot of meat. So I want all my meat. Getting that in. I'm going to put the lid on it. And let it cook for maybe another 30 minutes. Now I'm going to add in my corn. I think this is a 12 ounce bag. I only added half of this bag. I had used a half or something else, but half going in now. Mixing it all in. Turkey and corn. Turkey and corn. Soup time, soup time, soup time. I got a can of cream of chicken and a cream of a can of cream of celery. And I'm also gonna add one package of that uh Lipton onion soup. Now, I'm mixing it up a little bit this time. This time, I'm adding the Lipton onion soup. Normally, I use a fresh onion and bell peppers cut up. But I'm, I'm not going to do that this time. I like to change, you know, my ingredients sometimes. You never know what you will discover. For me, I'm like, oh, man, that tastes better than the last one. So, you know. Yeah, one package. Uh, I like that, um, the beefy Lipton, too. When I could use beef, when I'm cooking with beef, I like that soup, too. So I use that. Okay, adding in, adding in, and stirring in. It's getting thick, y'all. It's getting thick with those soups. Yeah, that's what I want, creamy thickness. It's a soup, right? I guess it's a soup. Whatever it is, it's going to be good. Put the lid on. Simmer, simmer, simmer. I'm going to add in the pasta now. 
Remember that pasta was done. So I'm just going to let it soak up the goodness. That's all. Soaking up the goodness. I'm going to add in some parsley and crushed pepper and some um, Parmesan cheese. Once this, you know, and let everything settle together. I'm going to add in some parsley now. And I end up, I should have added my parsley last. <laughs> because now I'm stirring it up. And again, I add parsley for color. I add parsley for color. And now I done mixed it all in. I can't hardly see the color. So I added some more, some more, some more. Because I want to see it. And I'm going to end up adding some more on the end. Because I like it on the top, you know. Color, color, color. With that crushed pepper. That red and green. It look like, even if your food not good, it make it look like it is. <laughs> so, just a dab of the crushed pepper. Can you see it? You see how good it look? And, um... Um, Parmesan cheese. I'm just going to put a handful in. This is something I I just decided to add in. As I was um, cooking, I'm like, I'm going to try and add that Parmesan cheese and see what it tastes like. So this is a new ingredient that I'm adding to this dish. Mixing, mixing, mixing. So I can still see a little of that crushed pepper. So I'm going to have to sprinkle a little more on the end, just on the top. And I'm not going to mix it no more. Can y'all see it? Yeah, the colors. It looks good. But it's going to look better when I add some more color to it. <laughs> I'm going to put the lid on and just let everything, the seasons just set, you know. The longer it's set, the better it is. Now... Tell me that don't look good. Thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you.